Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So as of yesterday and today, Krishan Rock and her sister Tasiki are currently trending all over social media. If you guys do not know, this entire situation is crazy. I covered it a year ago, and now it's back in the forefront. So Krishan, who claimed to have found God, went to jail. I'm trying to educate myself more on the word of God lately. And it's going great. It's going great. I love it. I kind of oversaturate myself with the word of God to the point that's all I do. So when I'm like falling asleep, I'm literally falling asleep on the Bible. You remember she blasted Zeus, said Zeus was trying to scam her. Did he even have to slap Lemmy because she was being, you know, unfairly treated? Party or whatever. Uh, we just wanted to follow up. Uh, I'm glad you, you fuck with Krishan. And then he grabbed Lemmy by his neck. It was like, but do you fuck <laughs> with her? Like, don't play with her. All she need is love. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. And I didn't understand that till my checks start coming back short from the subscriptions of Crazy in Love till he start putting people, like personally putting people that doesn't fuck with me that I had like street beef with on the show. Um, Where's the security at? Well, now it looks like Krishan Rock has come crawling back to Zeus Network. And of course, she's trying to make a name for herself and go viral once again. So y'all know Zeus has absolutely no shame. They decide to release the trailer. And in the trailer, there's a video, a seven second clip of Krishan basically confronting Tasiki, but Krishan Jr. is in her arms. And she did that for a reason. And in this clip, she's accusing Tasiki of basically forcing her to eat Tasiki out when she was seven years old. This is disgusting and disturbing. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I remember when this I was seven, you open. made me eat your the pussy. Sprinter. You said what? I'm done. I'm done talking. But you're going to fucking jail. Defamation of character. All right, so you guys just saw that clip. And like I said, this is part of the new Zeus Network trailer for Baddies Midwest because you can't let a good crisis go to waste. Now, what's very interesting about the situation, like I said, um, I covered this a year ago. But in that clip, Tasiki also says that she's going to sue Krishan Rock. Anna Mack also confirmed this as well. Anna Mack took to social media and she said this. They are not cool. Krishan was just scared to fight her. She said she wasn't going to put the baby down. So Tifa, don't hit her. We are not allowed to clear the air. Just know, terrible. She's suing Krishan, everything. They are over here asking her to please not do anything with legal issues, but it's getting to that. So the reason why Tasiki wants to sue Krishan is we all know Tasiki is looking to build her music career. You know, she's a pseudo celebrity because of Zeus Network. And Zeus Network doesn't want any legal ramifications because of all the nonsense that are being whispered about Zeus Network. And if they end up doing a discovery, it could fuck up the whole Zeus Network brand. So of course they don't want Tasiki to take this to court. But Tasiki does not want the allegations of child molestation and abuse being tied to her name. But what's very disturbing is that, you know, part of me feels like Krishan Rock is doing this as a get back towards Tasiki because Tasiki basically took Krishan Rock's spot. She came on the show as an eater. Beating up bitches. You know what I'm saying? Fought Krishan's two best friends. And now everybody has literally forgotten about Krishan Rock. It's all about Tzatziki. And I feel like Krishan is not trying to blast her in a more public fashion. A year ago, she blasted her on Instagram. But now she's doing it on, quote unquote, television. So I'm going to go ahead and play a flashback to what went down a year ago. And some of the clips that I have of um, the whole drama between Tzatziki and Krishan Rock. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Oh, 
Like, what you mean, me to try to get you length to get a talk show? Yeah, like, you want a talk show? You don't have to talk about me, though. You don't. Going, you really you don't. Ain't. You don't. So you don't have to talk to me. You're my sister. You don't. You don't. You don't. Anyway. Really? I don't even know what's up with her. Like, she's trying so hard. Too, Too hard. And keep I, lying. I don't even be Let them keep doing it. They're going to die down. They're hype going to die down. It's not even that. Why won't you worry about your son and the people that molested your son? Like, what? Like, you keep saying shit. Then you molest my other nephew. Like, she she did some weird shit to Tristan. Like, you want to keep airing people out and lying? I'm not lying. I added truth. Oh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, she's weird, bro. She got shit under the curtains that she'll never speak about. And she was a fast individual, bro. She, ask, her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Did, what, no, because she acting like motherfuckers ain't really trying to touch me. Like, we don't like each other because our childhood, bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like, yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to, like, make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But if we will be honest, I forgave you, Latifah, for a lot of shit and still forgive you just keep my all right so you guys just saw that video and one thing that disturbed me that i was not ready for is that krishan said that her older sister used to try and make her play house and that um you know tasiki was a fast little girl and so people in the comments were like hold up this is insane you know krishan is basically reiterating what their nephew had been saying months ago so if you guys don't know there's Oh God, these these people just have a huge family. So Krishan's oldest oldest sister, I believe, her name is China, and so this is her son. Her son is Tristan. He's twenty seven years old. So like for the past, I would say few months, he's been coming out and saying that you know Tasiki and other family members molested him when he was seven years old, and so he's been saying this for a while. And they've been kind of sweeping it under the rug. So now with Krishan Rock saying that Tasiki was trying to play house with her, people are not putting two and two together. The broad of getting the house. I guess she gave word to the uncles and aunts, which I ain't know, but now I know because I'm older, I'm smarter, I'm more wiser. But back then I didn't know. But yeah, I get in the house. Now my aunt, my other aunt, the older one, she ran me in the bathroom. And when she bring me in the bathroom, she said, you want to f me next? I'm confused as f bro. I'm seven. I'm like, what the f you talking about? She like, you want to f me next? Um, I don't want to wash this tub because I guess my grandmother told her to um, wash the bathroom. We had chores growing up. Oh my goodness. I think my son got molested by his little cousins. Honest to God. On my Bible right here. That's what she said. And I thought about that shit today. I said it earlier. And I'm like, this is the same one. She couldn't even give him a no reply. Why she did it? Apology. She changed the subject and started fucking with my lock. It's I ne no never forget that. that. Never. She's like, it oh my goodness, I think Mike has molested people Bitch, my it. son just told you you molested him. What the fuck your son got to do with anything going on right now? Did she lie? I never forget that. That's when I knew that girl was really fucked up. She's fucked up. Fucked up. He told her to her face what she did. And he changed she changed the subject and put it on her son. Like I think uh his such and such cousins man. That's called But we lying. But she said but but she said we lying though. I ain't no ugly nigga or nothing. I ain't want to see no shit like that. That's tarnishing my name. It's making me look bad. Oh, that nigga, ew. He been molested. He been... A... Come on, now. I came out with that shit because them motherfuckers was lying about it the whole fucking life. And they just going around in life like shit was sweet. Like, oh, yeah, we can molest this nigga. We can torture him. And we can just walk off. Motherfucker, only why y'all here still... I ain't even want to say that. Hey, y'all. Uh... What's up? Yeah, I'm good. I'm at work. I just saw it. 
But I told y'all my song gonna be all right. Mark my word. My song gonna definitely be good. She gonna pay for what she did to my son. Trust me. She ain't get away with that shit. All right, so you guys just saw those clips, and um, I believe something definitely happened to their nephew, Tristan. Tristan has said that Krishan was probably one of the only family members who did not abuse him, but in, but then again, him and Krishan are several years apart, so she would have been literally a baby at that point. I believe something may have happened between him and Tzatziki um, because he's been very adamant about this for years, and it does take a man a long time to want to even admit, let alone speak about his auntie molesting and abusing him. The whole situation is disturbing. There are even more clips that have gone viral with Tristan talking about the situation as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. Man, Tifa ain't gonna admit that shit. Every time we brung it out and brung it up to her ass, you know what this bitch said? <laughs> we was playing house. <laughs> we was playing house. That's what that bitch said. She said we was playing house. Ha! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Went viral. First of all, Krishan was the only one person who went viral. I, I, that's my baby girl. She ain't do nothing wrong, nothing wrong with Krishan. Krishan is A1. She's a blessed person. And nothing, yeah, nothing gonna come across that. Now, her brothers and sisters? You feel me? You know what they did? Y'all know what they did? I said it in another video. Y'all know what they did? Stop playing. Real. That's facts. Ain't no, oh, he's lying. He's just, shorty, I ain't got time to lie. And I ain't trying to degrade nobody's career. And I ain't trying to get clout. I'm doing this because y'all just brought my name up. Y'all woke me up. My mama fucking sleep. Yeah, the whole family talented. Yes, yes, sir. I'm not going to lie about that. The whole family talented. It definitely is. Even with Tashika, she talented. Little bitch fucked up back then when she was, when I was seven years old and they did that molestivity. But other than that, shorty grew the fuck up and she's talented. Look, believe what y'all want to believe. At the end of the day, shorty did that. The motherfucker sick. And my aunt Krishan ain't got nothing to do with it. My uncle Lil PD ain't got nothing to do with it. So y'all keep their names out of that, please. Because them people going through enough and they don't have shit to do with that. I promise you that. My son was seven, going on eight. They was all kids, but they was older than my son and they knew better. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They knew better. I hug them every day, baby. I got you. I hug them every day. <laughs> and it hurt them more right because they keep lying. People on here. Thinking that it's a lie. They sick too. They sick. Because who the fuck in their right mind will come on live and talk about some shit like that? Like make up some shit like that. And that. And the sick shit they did. And the. He not only talking about Tifa. He was talking about everybody. If y'all. If he was one of our day ones, you would know this. The ones that admitted it. The ones he not really saying too much about. The ones that apologized. Those are the ones he not really saying nothing about. I'm just throwing Tifa up. It was. Literally five of them. Yeah, they wait till a nigga get old as fuck to finally believe me. Ain't that about a bitch? I'm old as shit now. When I was going through trauma as a kid, that's when y'all supposed to be asking me these questions. How is it impacting you now and this and that? Yeah, when I was a kid, when that was happening, nigga, I tried to kill myself. I used to break shit over my head a lot. I used to do a lot of shit, slam my head to the wall to a bitch. I'd have been pulled out of every school I went to. I've been locked up by cops in schools. All that, my nigga, I was fucked up. That's when y'all should have been asking me the questions. But nobody kid, because nobody was famous. So I was just going through hell. Then I got older. The first time that I got molested by their dad, we was living in Pioneer City out in Mead Village. God is my witness. Me and my brother was taking turns sitting on this nigga lap. Period. It was my little brother turn to sit on his lap. I cried like a little bitch because I wanted to sit on his lap and play the game again. And I regret that till this day. Terrence got mad, stormed out the room, left me in there sitting on this man lap playing the game. Soon as my brother go out the room, the nigga take these two fingers like, will you tell your mother if I did this and put his shit down in my drawer? Stop playing with me. Period. My story never going to change because that's what the fuck happened. And the shit y'all did to my son, putting all them dicks and shit in his mouth. Y'all wonder why he fucked up. Why he don't give a fuck? He's no bitch. Let's get that right. He's definitely not. All right, so you guys just saw the clips of Tristan and his mother, China, and China also talking about being molested by Tasiki and Krishan Rock's dad. I believe that molestation has affected this entire family. 
I believe that if Tzatziki was molesting Tristan and allegedly Krishan, it was definitely learned behavior because unfortunately things that happen to children can sometimes be passed on to other children because they don't know any better. They tend to normalize it. They tend to think that it's okay, that this is normal behavior because of what they're being taught by adults in the family. This whole situation is disturbing. Um, I don't blame Tzatziki for trying to sue, but I think even more than a lawsuit, they all need fucking counseling. Zeus Network has done nothing but perpetuated nonsense and put a spotlight on their family's dysfunction. They need to go to counseling because none of this is normal. If somebody was to touch Tzatziki's children, she'd be trying to kill that person. Let's keep it real. Look how she did Diamond the Body. So the fact that she's being accused of this by, you know, by her nephew and not her sister... The mother, China, who was Tristan's mom, has been blasting Tzatziki for the past two years. Something's not clean in the buttermilk. And like I always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. So with that being said, I leave the conversation up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning this newest allegation being put on public display by Krishan Rock against Tzatziki, accusing Tzatziki of basically forcing her to give her oral sex. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys believe Krishan? Do you feel like Krishan is just trying to get get back and is looking to go viral? And how do you guys feel about Tristan and China, what they have to say about Tzatziki as well? Do you guys feel like where there's smoke, there's fire? Or do you feel like everybody's just hating on Tzatziki now that she's blowing up and she's become a fan favorite on baddies? So like I said, I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Go ahead and hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you still subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.